Scott this is Joel. Again, this full swing continues to look very good. Continuing to show good steady progress here, Scott. You see how those legs look pretty solid through impact. As a result, that head didn't go down very much compared to what it used to do. His arms are extended well, which is part of an indicator of you being around that plane line nicely, which is what we see from this angle. You can see that left knee is real good on the backswing. doesn't go toward the ball very much at all, man. It goes toward your right knee, which is what we want. As a result, see through impact, your head is up a lot better than it used to be. And you see that club head is just about on plane there, buddy. And again, it's, at times, I'm sure you're getting a little bit above it, and it's the pull hook. And so I would agree with your analysis there. And then right there, it's perfect through the top of your right shoulder. So a lot of good things going on there, man. The most important thing, though, I think for right now, since that full swing is coming around, is to just let it ruminate. Just let it sink in. Uh, don't take any more new medicines right now the next couple of weeks. And then remember that when it comes to putting, as you see here, this person hit him from over left of the screen to this hole. So on the x-axis, again, nothing's more than a foot from the hole. But on the y-axis, this person has some three or four footers left. This is where this person hit from, this young student of mine. So see, they look pretty good from this angle, but when you look at it from the blimp view, you see two of them are a little short, and that's where the three putt can come from. So I want you to keep getting better and better at your observational skills there. Scott, as much as possible, to see things again that you hadn't seen in the past. There's the difference. Looking down the y-axis versus here walking around to the side and looking at the x-axis. Perfect distance is what you're after with those putts, man. And really get good. Continue to improve at your observational skills for that putting. Thanks so much, Scott. Look forward to hearing how tryouts go. Take care. This is Joel Suggs. I sure enjoyed meeting you down at the Cincinnati Golf Show this weekend and showing you your swing on the 2D equipment that I have. And so I want to take about two or three minutes to just show you around meddling. This is the studio I use in the winter for all my students. You see there's a down-the-line camera angle for our 2D equipment. And then we have the face on camera angle also. And then what we also have here is 3D equipment to where I can show you your swing from six different camera angles with this 3D equipment. And we can get your swing from down to the 120th of a, one 120th of a second in terms of exactly what your hips, shoulders, and hands are doing in the swing. And then also, I have the most realistic hitting curve I've ever seen from PuttersEdge.com. So when you hit your full shots, it feels as realistic as possible. And then I have three different green speeds for you to practice your putting. 9.5 on the step meter, 10.5 on the step meter, and 12.5 on the step meter. That's benefited my students tremendously. And then also I have a lot of learning aids like this smart stick. You can see the rest of those learning aids over here in my bag that we can work on to help you learn the certain fields in the golf swing that you and I both want. And then also I help my students a lot with their equipment through the winter. This is a frequency analyzer where we twang your club and it gives us a reading here. And then also we plot your whole set, each club on this, these lines to see if the set is really matched or not. Quite often they aren't and it helps my students tremendously when they find out what clubs are the offending clubs. Then if we get tired of being indoors and we want to go outdoors and get time, we can do that. It's my daughter. Ellie, good to see you. I haven't seen her in weeks. <laughs> no wonder you've been gone, Ellie. You've been out here playing in the snow all this time. But this is our natural turf area. This is closed until April, as you can see. Uh, but it's a fantastic area where we can step outside and hit some balls and get some real ball flight. Or... If you get pretty satisfied and think you're looking better on the video here, we're kind of cooped up inside and want to go outside, we can step on out and hit balls and see real ball flight for about 5 or 10 or 15 minutes, however long you and I can stand the cold, out into the air, and we see them land at these different flags. I have a yardage book for this driving range. It's the first one I've ever seen in my life where we know exactly what it is for the front, back, and middle of each screen. 
And again, the covered area here is heated, so we stay out there for about 5, 10, 15 minutes, like I said. It enables us to see some ball flight, and then we get satisfied that things are looking the way we want, and we come back inside, take off our coat, and look again at the video equipment to see how your swing's looking, to make sure that you understand it. And then notice too, my exercise ball up top here, and then also, so I help my students a lot with their fitness through the winter, and then I will help you also with your sports psychology, with your golf psychology from the golfpsych.com people down in Texas. That's helped my students tremendously a lot over the years too. So again, I sure enjoyed meeting you down at the Cincinnati Golf Show this weekend. I look forward to seeing you again out here this summer at Meadowlinks or even right now in the winter. I have a lot of people that work on their games with me right through the winter. Check out more information about the things I do to help you at joelsuds.com. Take care.